All right, so this update is here. It is now. It is active. So I made a couple of notes here that I wanted to go over. The things that I thought were notable as far as this update is concerned. The things that I thought were... That mattered, essentially. Um, okay. First thing is first. The first thing that I noticed when you log in was the skin. There's a new castle skin. Um, I don't know why IGG doesn't give you, like, preview of stuff like this. They just kind of drop it on you, you know? But maybe they like the surprise. I don't know. Ah, surprise! Happy birthday! Anyway, here's the new one. Um, it's called Treasure Galleon. I, I guess it's Galleon. But, um, yeah, it gives you cavalry and range stats. I believe there was already one that gave you cavalry and range stats. Um, I'm not really going to start looking, but I believe there was already one there. So, there it is. There's another castle skin. Actually, um, since it is a pirate theme, uh, I know that a bunch of all these, like, uh, One Piece fans, etc. will love this thing. Here they are. They have... Let me see... So this is the skin, how it looks out in the open world, if you will. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it, it definitely looks kind of clean. It looks, it looks kind of nice. Like, that looks cool. That looks cool. I mean, and, and especially if you compare it to, like, the skins that are next to it, it definitely looks higher quality. So, there is that. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're into the skins and the star thing then that's going to be cool for you, especially if you're into the pirate and, you know, the ships and all that. I, I, I like the skin. I feel like it's definitely above average. And the price is $30, not, you know, one of these $99 ones. Where, where are they at? Not one of these. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not too terrible. It's not too terrible. So, next thing. There's a new pack. Now, I do not know if this new pack... Is something that will come again or if it's literally like a one-time thing but if you go all the way down as we're going all the way down as we're going all the way down what's this full purchase what do I gotta get 26,000 more no thanks anyway here it is a new adventure so there is a two dollar pack I believe a five a 20 and a 50 and this one only comes with petite devil but as you keep going up um, the witch tall is also included. Um, I think it only gives you like 20 or 25 of each medal. So it's definitely not going to max out the hero for you. But I think it'll get you to like at least close to blue if anything. So there is that. There's also a couple of other items that are pretty damn good. But I feel like those are more like beginner items. They're not really items that... An account that's already established would really care for. So this is this is definitely more for like newer players or uh, like newer accounts, alts, things of that nature. Um, so it's really nice to take advantage of. But I just don't know if it's going to be like the big guy, you know, like you purchase it once and it's gone. Or if it's actually going to rotate. So I guess, I guess we'll see. We'll, we'll have to give this one some time. But... Overall, I mean, it's great value, especially if you don't have those heroes to gold, like, yes. Unfortunately, I do, so it doesn't really do anything for me, but for all of you that might not be completely free to play, you know, you might spend a couple of bucks here and there, this pack is actually very, very solid, especially if you don't have those heroes gold. Moving on, there's, an also, there's another thing here that I found that, um... IGG did a really good job on, and that is they changed, they finally changed the wording on the heroes. Here's what I'm talking about. Maybe some of you didn't catch this, but look, you see that? First of all, merging expert, it says passive. So it actually is like letting you know it's a passive. You don't got to do anything to get this boost. And if you go over to the infantry attack boost, it says when deployed now there's i 100% uh, guarantee you that uh, people will still probably be confused so that's why at the bottom they even included active when sent into battle like they're covering all their bases right activates when hired right at the bottom there so it not only does it say passive now it actually tells you activates when hired 
activate when sent into battle. Now, my one little gripe with this is with uh, the squats. It says, deals 200% squad attack as damage to enemy troops and activates when in battle. I feel like they should also let you know, like, hey, this only activates if you have the same type of troop that this hero is. Because, like, that tactics, uh, you know, squad attack is not going to activate on a cavalry march. So, I feel like they kind of dropped the ball on that. But, like, overall, I feel like that's really, really solid. Now, now when people go over to freaking, I don't know, Trickster, where, where is Trickster? Now, people are like, okay, activates when hired, activates when hired, activates when hired. That's all, that's all he does. He doesn't really give you anything. So don't, don't have him as your, your, your leader. Anyway, another thing that was notable to me, as I go ahead and click this, that way some of you uh, will live in peace. Uh, is this, uh, there's a new reminder now that when you go over to familiars, by the way, they changed this out a little bit. There is this little reminder now, like this. That's not something that was there before. Now, that exclamation point is actually going to be on the outside, on this little dragon mark on the right. But because I had already clicked it, it disappeared. But yeah, it will remind you, hey, you have something that you can use. Use it. So, as a matter of fact, I will. We're going to get a gold jewel right now, 100%. Uh, I'm common range attack, you know, I'll, I'll take it. I'll, I mean, I have to, but you know. Uh, what was the other one? Oh, 15,000 random troops, T4. How much you want to bet I'm going to get Siege? Oh, okay, I'll take it back. Ooh, that's not bad. Okay, I'll, I'll take it back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, now, for the big thing. The Dragon Arena. That's coming up. That is coming up probably tomorrow, right? Yeah. Um, of course, your guild has to register. There's a couple of things that I want to like let you guys know because this really, really, really reminds me of a Castle Clash update. I forget exactly what it was called. Like it's it's been so long already that uh, it's it's just been too long. But yeah, you register for a specific time, and it will try to match you with somebody. In Castle Clash, it was against three guilds. In this one, it's only against one. So what happens if, like, I don't know, let's just like 33 guilds register for one specific time? Like, it, it seems like one will be left out. And be aware of this. If you need to know anything, you need to know right here. Guilds may not get the time slot they choose. And may be assigned to a different time slot. They will get a mail notifying them of the change. So that means that if, for whatever reason, the amount of uh, of guilds that uh, like uh, try to apply for one time slot ends on an odd number, like I don't know, let's just say a thousand five, you may just be that one guild that they're like, well, let's just kick this one up. And put it in another time slot that might have another odd number or something like that. I mean, it could. It could be. Now, I feel like once this goes down, like the first, maybe even the second, and more guilds start to separate themselves and start reaching new uh, new rankings, etc. I think it's going to be easier for them. But at the moment, all you need to know is that you got to register. Make sure that you're in the guild when you re when they're registered. And make sure that you are ready to go when this starts. Um, outside of that, though, there is, of course, the new hero, Boommeister. And uh, let's, let's check him out, actually, because I haven't really checked him out much. Battle skills. This is all going to be passive, so hooray. Um, to be honest, it's a little lacking. I mean, it is passive, so it's going to be good regardless. But I, I kind of want to, like... An actual hero, but you know, you know, you know, it's it's free to play in a way, so let's not complain, right? Y'all wanted a new free to play hero. This is a free to play hero, it's got army stats, no harm, no foul, right? Okay, hero skills. This is gonna be 
Very interesting because this is what determines. Is this hero going to be good for Colosseum, which I love? Is this hero going to be good for monster hunting? What is this hero going to be good at? Because obviously you're not going to actually be sending this hero into a fight. We know that already. Okay, first one. Boom Beam. Are you related to Boom Hilda? Hello? Anyway. Channels an energy blade from his cannon and slashing it at a target from long range, dealing damage to all enemies in a line, deals 4,000 damage. Okay, dealing damage in a line is actually very good in Colosseum. The damage is a bit low though, so that's a bit concerning. But I could, I could see it being decent, okay. Join arms, supports allies in combat, granting them combined arms for 8 seconds. Combined arms increases peers by 110. Okay, that's more for monster hunting. I mean, it'll be okay for Colosseum too, but it's definitely... That's a monster hunting thing right there. Okay. Combat specialist. The Boom Meister commands the troops in battle, increasing the damage dealt by his allies. Okay. Increases crit of all allies by 100. Okay, that's definitely monster hunting. So... Yeah, it seems very, very monster hunter-ish. Um, I can also see it working in Colosseum if you want to increase, like, the damage. And if your team is very, like, physical-driven, like if you have a Black Crow, if you have a Tracker, maybe even, like, a Trickster. If you have them all together with, like, a Rose Knight, you add this guy, and they're going to be doing a bunch of damage. So I could see that working. But, like, outside of that, this is very, very monster hunt heavy. Which, hey, as a free-to-play player, I would welcome that 100%. Absolutely. All right, Cannon Burst. Now, this is what's going to determine it if it's okay in Colosseum. Fires a powerful burst of energy at a target from long range, dealing damage to all enemies in a cone and knocking them back. Okay, the knockback is really good for Colosseum. That's definitely really good. Deals 5,000 physical damage. Okay, the damage is kind of lacking. But the knockback is really good, and I feel like it will synergize really well with Berserker, Witch Doll, and Grove Guardian. Because Berserker has her own knockback, Grove Guardian attacks in a, like a circle, and Witch Doll attacks in a circle. So if you knock them back, and you keep everybody like together, and you contain them there, that is a pretty good combo. So yeah, this guy... Will be de I feel like he's going to be decent in Colosseum. He might not get like a bunch of play. But Monster Hunting, I feel like he is going to be a definite go-to. 100%. Because these buffs right here, when you think about it, it's going to increase all allies. That's a lot for Monster Hunting. So, yeah. This, this guy is going to be in a lot of Monster Hunting teams. But, anyway. Um, I believe... I'm actually going to be able to get my hands on an account that's going to do the first time slot. Um, I think that's going to be 1 a.m. for me. So I might actually just stream that one and just kind of fumble around um, and kind of like learn with you guys, show you guys the first time slot. That way, if you guys kind of want to see it in action the whole hour before going into yours and having a better idea, then maybe you can tune into the stream or maybe watch it afterwards, etc. Um, and then I'll have a better idea by the time ours comes around. So, yeah. I feel like this update was a major hit. Like, there's really nothing that I'm like, oh. So, good job, IGG. I, 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 there's nothing to complain about, to be honest with you. Everybody should be happy. Pay to play, free to play, middle to play. Everybody, all right? Everybody. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about the update. Do you like it? Do you not like it? But you got to give me a, a reason why. Alright, appreciate you guys for watching, and until later.